Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. So this reading is a general reading, see what is in store for you. So I have got a couple of deck of cards that I'm going to be using for your reading. So let's dive in and see what we have for you. So the first deck of cards I'm going to be doing is these cards. I do apologise with the lighting, it's a bit too bright. <laughs> okay. Cards for Gemini then, please. Okay. So we have the Ocean card. So this is saying for you to try and um, go near water, to try and tune into the water and let all the concerns and worries be washed away. So also I'm guaranteed that I have some of you, you may have a lot of tears, you have a lot of emotions that is bottled up within yourself that you need to let it release, you need to let it go. And by doing that, it will cleanse your soul. You will feel 10 times better for it. So I feel like with this ocean, being near the ocean, being near a river, um, running water, whatever it, whatever it could be, it will bring out the best. It will bring out that sense of calmness and leaving your emotions to go here as well. So I feel like letting your emotions go, you're going to be cleansing your soul, but also being near water can help you to feel better in yourself here as well. So I'm seeing here, this is going to be using your beauty to wash away any cares and any concerns that you have. Okay, Gemini, please. Okay, so you have perfect timing. So something is going to be coming in that is perfect timing. So now is a perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. Here, your doors are going to be open for you while you walk through them with your angels and your guides right beside you. There is a lot of success coming in and I feel like there is a lot of people that is going to be with you here as well to help guide and support you here. With this card I'm seeing there's a lot of green, you know, like nature, like earth colours that you may be wearing at this time or will be good for you to wear during this time to help ground you, ground your energy here. Okay. Cards for Gemini then, please. Okay, giving and receiving. So know that your exhales is give and know that inhale is to receive. So you need to become with rhythm with the universe here. And it says for you to have good health energy and replenishment and try to balance your life so try and balance different things in your life that is what you need to do by giving and receiving gemini please okay wedding so either some of you are going to be getting married or you are going to be attending a wedding here. There is a, um, there could be a mutual respect coming in you for some of you that you might be meeting with someone where there is a sense of needing some understanding. Um, there is to have that sense of commitment here as well. And I feel like for some of you, if it is a wedding that's coming in, congratulations. Um, and I feel like here that is to be needing some faith and love in relationships here as well. So for some of you, I'm getting here, it is a perfect timing for a wedding. So we have the ocean, perfect timing, giving, receiving and also wedding. Gemini, please. Yeah. Oh my god, I just went completely blank. 
well it's just me and like myself maybe some of you are going to be experiencing this at this time or you have been experiencing like your mind just completely going blank this has not happened to me before not like this not doing readings okay wow Gemini please right okay innocence so beloved one everyone is guiltless in truth no matter um oh my god and gone blank again wow okay right innocence so give us your feelings of heaviness so they can lighten your load which is your angels and your guides um and also give any guilt anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook enjoy the peace within your heart once more okay notice the signs so there is signs coming in for you that you need to be looking at so they are going to be very specific and this is like the numbers like time um you know with the clock and things of that nature or the radio something that comes up like it could be coins feathers something that you feel that is very spiritual that you know is you know is a sign okay ask so you have the card of ask so there is to be um asking for some help either someone's coming to you to ask for help or you're going to someone to ask for help but i'm also getting to you you are going to be having a sense of some free time to do what you want what you need to do um and there is a lot of um your own choices and decisions that is going to be made here as well one more for gemini then please and we have play so I think it's every single um, zodiac that I've done to this reading, um, I've all had play. So there is a lot of playful energy that is coming in. So this could be childlike energy. Um, this is also about putting some things to the side while you go and enjoy yourself. Um, there is a lot of laughter and trying to lift your energy. There is a lot of heightened energy that is coming in for you. Okay, next cards are these ones. Okay, Gemini, please. Cards of Gemini. Okay, so this stress management. So this is telling you <laughs> you need to put some management into some stress. So whatever stress you've had, you need to try and manage it. And I'm getting to some of you, you need, you need to manage your temper or there is a situation that is coming through where there is going to be some um, hostility, where there is some stress that you need to try and manage. Another card for Gemini, please. confidence so there is to be some confidence that is coming in for you you are going to be feeling very confident on a certain situation that is coming in animals so if there is any animals that have passed on then they tell you they're okay they are with you for others of you you may have animals that is coming in for you and I feel like this is um, this, the form of either adoption or there is to be a birth of animals that is around you. Something very specific regarding animals is coming in here for you and this could be regarding signs you know but it could be linked to this. Another card for Gemini please. Okay, generosity. So either someone is coming in that is very generous that is going to be helping you or you are going to be very generous and you're going to be gifting 
or giving or helping someone here because there is that sense of generosity so something good is coming in activist we have that activist so something is going to be um coming in that you're going to be um doing here or becoming something okay another three cards for Gemini please okay fab fantastic so we have sleep so there is a sense of like telling you you need sleep or there is to be sleep involvements here um some of you i'm getting that you may be very in tune with energies um very sensitive energies psychic energies during sleep like myself i'm the same i'm really more sensitive and um tuned to energies more when i sleep i know it sounds a bit strange but that's how i tune into the other um dimensions and to the spirit realm and and then that's how i foresee things like i did in one of the other um in the other readings that i had done before this one like i had this strange sensation that come over me like a deja vu and then i automatically had another sensation when i'm doing this reading where i just went completely blank and that never happened to me it must be some energies that's going on because i've never been like that during readings but anyway we have steady progress so something is coming in that is um that you put into to try and see some progress but it's coming in very steadily it is coming in but it is coming in very um lightly and being very steady so don't go worrying about anything like if you worry about something's not happening or you can't see something um then they tell you you know just wait it out and it will come to you but you know it's in steady time really practice makes perfect so whatever you do they tell you to try and practice and practice because if you keep practicing practicing you become perfect you can top notch at that okay um one more card for Gemini. okay you have the card of don't compromise so whatever it is if you feel like you want to compromise in a certain situation they tell you don't um don't compromise something okay these are the next deck okay cards of Gemini please okay we have children so you're either going to be blessed with children or you're going to be surrounding yourself with children during this time this is saying um thank you for helping yourselves um to try and help with children so maybe you're a carer um, or you try to help children or you could be like a nursery nurse or like a teacher whatever you do that's regarding children then this is telling you you know you're doing great for what you're doing and you know thank Archangel Raphael the angels the guides thank you for them help to help you to help the children and that sounds very complicated it sounded very complicated when I thought it that's just the way i think um okay and expect a miracle gemini another reading had that as well to expect a miracle so this is saying there is a very miraculous intervention and some healing energy that is coming in for you and the card for gemini okay sunlight so they tell you you need to get out and get some sunlight gemini so maybe when you get to see this video there is to be sunlight or after this video there is to be sunlight whenever it is they tell you you need to enjoy the benefits of sunshine in a safe way like not overdoing it not doing fake 
sun rays, like, you know, bed tanning or fake tan, things like that. Natural light, that's what you need. And getting, some of you, you may have vitamin deficiency or iron, low iron levels that you may need checked out. So do something in a healthy way to bring that up for you. Okay, next card for Gemini. Okay, yeah, consult a nutritionist. So where I said about the vitamin deficiency um, and the iron situation, try and go and see someone um, regarding that situation because I feel like that may be causing some problems that you have. Um, and if you have these treatments or have these vitamins or do something, you will feel much better in yourself. So this is telling you to try and eat good foods, try and drink good beverages um, to help you with your weight and also with your health. Okay, four more cards for Gemini, please. Okay, so we have exercise is key. So they tell you you need to do some exercise. So some good exercises. You may be starting a gym membership here. I'm feeling that there is to be a program for some of you that is going to be very motivating that you're going to be doing. So you're going to be doing yoga for some of you, whatever it is, even if it's just little, little help. It just, it makes the world a difference to your body. As long as it's in your budget range, obviously, like. Three more cards for Gemini. One more. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so you have unconditional joy. So this is saying to thank you um, and the archangels to help you appreciate everything that's going to be making you happy. So you are going to be very happy um, in your situation. You're going to be feeling um, very appreciative. Have I said that right? I don't know. <laughs> like appreciate things okay um anyway organic foods this is telling you to eat nice organic healthy foods so this is about not consuming bad foods but consuming good foods okay one last card for gemini okay so whatever stressful situation you have leave it in the past leave it leave a situation that is stressful behind so they say to you thank you for giving you the courage willingness to take good care of yourself including surrounding yourself with healthy relationships and positive situations so moving forward whatever stresses you have leave them in the past Try and look forward to your future. Try and see a positivity coming in. Try and put yourself around positive people because that's what you need. So that is the deck of cards. I'm going to be using the unicorn deck. These deck of cards. Okay. Okay, Gemini. That's the Gemini, please. Okay, seeking good. So this is saying look for good in a current situation. So like I said, will you going to be needing to leave a stressful situation behind? Try and see um, the good, the positive in that situation to try and move forward with your life. Gemini. Okay, wisdom. So act with wisdom and people will respect you. So if you... Um, be kind, caring, respectful to people, they will respect you back. So try and have that good sense of will about yourself. So that's why I'm seeing something good. By acting nicely, doing things for people, being caring, being kind, that brings positivity. Because if you bring negativity out, then that's going to be tracking it back. So if you put out the positivity into the world, you're going to have that back. Because if you put positivity out there three times over, 
you get that three times back you get the most wonderful positive energy if you put the negativity out if you put it out on people then you'll have that three times worse back on yourself it is like um a flip reverse type of thing is like karma and that's how karma works so by putting good things out there you get good things back okay Gemini okay so you have aspirations with you are unlimited so aim for the stars so this is 10 you can't remember is it again whatever aspirations you have what you want to achieve what you want to do go out and do it because you have a life full of good um aspirations there is a lot of things that you have personally that you can achieve greatly in life and i'm seeing here that is good goodwill good power good strong sense of energy here that is going to be um well not going to be it that should be coming from you that is of good energy you then have help card so the help you need is on its way so keep watching for it so whatever help you need it is coming into you you have the future so let go of your past and move forward this could be love <coughs> um this could be future goals it could be career whatever it is is telling you to move forward and just leave this past behind like leave stressful situation behind blessings so count your blessings and the good in your life will multiply so like i was saying you know if you put positivity out there you get that positivity back if you put negativity out there you get negativity back so this is like that like i said you know if you go and count your blessings then you'll have more blessings coming to you so try and see the good in everything prosperity so prosperity is flowing towards you so be open to receiving it so whatever form it comes in accept it accept it for what it is because it is going to be good in the long run one more card for down now please okay <laughs> well surprise <laughs> you have the card of surprise so look for the unexpected today so when you see this video or just after you see this video there is to be an unexpected surprise coming in for you so linked with your blessings with your future seeking good with the aspiration with your help and the wisdom the prosperity there is this big surprise coming in for you so try and you know see it out it is very good okay last deck of cards then and then i'm done with your reading okay cards for Gemini then please is make the effort so there's great love that is worth taking steps that you're guided to take so whatever you're going to be doing is telling you that you are going to be making an effort or someone's coming in making some form of effort um which is worth making an effort for you have the soulmate card so yes this is your soulmate so this person that is coming in to make an effort or if you make this effort then to this certain person then they are telling you that this is your soulmate this is the person you're destined to be with engagement so your love life is going to be ascending to a higher level of commitment so you're either going to be getting engaged or you are going to be going in another form of commitment um level here 
Gemini. Another card for Gemini, please. Well, okay. Heart to heart conversation. So honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So there is a heart to heart conversation that you need to be having with this person. Um, and I feel like you need to discuss your feelings for one another. Um, and by doing so, I feel like things will go really well. Things will go really well. Okay. Four cards for Gemini, please. Okay, wait there. Finances and your career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So for some of you, you have a lot of like finance problems um, or career problems that may be hindering you from moving forward um, with this situation with a soulmate um, and this conversation that you need with someone here. So I feel like you need to sort the finances out in your career first before moving forward with whatever um, is going to be dealt with you. Three cards for Gemini then please. Two that does a minute ago. Right, codependency. So addictions are affecting your romantic life. So either you well yeah you yourself sorry. Yeah codependency yeah there is a lot of addictions that you have personally that is affecting um your love life your romantic life so there may be little blips here there and everywhere um that you need to sort out that you need to get to get like you need to get your act together so to speak with this um, addiction that is affecting your relationships that you've been going through or the relationship that you're currently in and I feel like you need to fix these before you can move forward and I feel like with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation that you need with someone you may be going to be talking to someone and they may bring up this codependency issue that you have that is affecting um, your love life so I feel like if you work on these co codependency issues that you have these addictions then I feel like you will overcome that and I feel things will go well for you. You then have let go of any control issues. So try and allow this situation to unfold naturally. So like with codependency, with addictions, I feel like this could be linked to some form of control issues that you personally have. And I feel like if you get these solved and you think about them, you try and work through them, then I feel like things are going to be working out really great for you. You know, baby steps, everything is baby steps and I feel like you will get there. One last card for Gemini then, before closing out the reading, okay. So you have express your love, go ahead and make a romantic gesture. So I feel like where you are going to be working on this codependency issues that could be to do with control issues, I feel like working on them then you can express your love and then you can go ahead to make this romantic gesture that you actually want to go ahead with okay then gemini so that is your reading if you can resonate my readings please like share subscribe hit that notification bell and i see you all again next time